Hello, this is Vampire here to talk about the LLC knife once again. And uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be talking about the shape, in particular, uh, more so the handle. Why does the handle come down like this? And it is because right here you can see this is like where the trigger would be on a firearm. So this is what the professor calls firearm ergonomics. Okay, so this is the LLC Katana. It's a live blade. And pretty much all of his knives um, have the same kind of handle. Um, his uh, LLC knives, they have the same handle shape. And okay, so this is the uh, close range medium impact tool, the crimped. And this is not a uh, blade edge, but you can see it has the same handle and it has that once again that firearm ergonomics right here so that's where the trigger would go so it's the, the way that i see it is is shaped like kind of like a, a pirate's uh flintlock pistol that's kind of kind of the way that it looks looks like to me okay and you might be asking why why is that important well in modern day tactical training um, the two main weapons, or, or one of the two main weapons to me, is knife, and then the other is the handgun. So this links them together. Um, because rather than going, okay, today we're going to do knife, today we're going to do handgun, and they're like completely, completely different, if you bring them in closer together and, and show how they're related, how they're similar, then the learning is going to be faster because while you're learning one, you're already kind of learning a little bit of the other. And at least in shape here, shape and form, they're going to have similarities. So someone who is comfortable with a handgun, when they go to a knife and they're not really a knife person, they're with this knife, they're going to feel more comfortable, right? And then that goes the same with um, someone who is uh, comfortable with this knife but they're not really a firearms person when they go to a firearm they're going to be a little bit more comfortable just because of the shape so that my understanding is the main reason why okay is is because of that comfort comfort is huge in self-defense in real life application you want to be comfortable so you're going to go to whatever it is that you've been training you're going to go to that so if you've been training firearm but you have this you have this tool then boom you're going to take it out just like you do a firearm and it's going to feel familiar it's going to feel natural for you and that's a good thing right so that's one of the main uh reasons from my understanding but i also feel like there are multiple other reasons and uh, so let me let me get into that. So what do I think are the other reasons? Well, uh, in my opinion, um, I remember the UUK knife. Okay, Urban Utility Knife. Look up that knife. It is an awesome knife. And uh, that knife, it's a beast. And uh, the UUK, I remember seeing it in a knife magazine many, many years ago. And... Um, the guy, the the designer, was doing push-ups with the thing, okay? And the reason why he was able to do push-ups, he had two of those knives, he's doing push-ups, and the reason why he's able to do uh, push-ups is because the knife was pistol-shaped. That is a pistol-shaped knife. So same idea here, and I guess what I'm trying to say, and what the author was trying to say, physics-wise, with a pistol shape, you can do push-ups because... The way our bodies are designed, this is very strong physics-wise, okay? However, if you're holding two knives and they're like standard knives, so they're pointed, you know, straight up like kind of like this, now try to do push-ups like this and it's incredibly hard, um, probably won't be able to do it at all. So physics-wise, for our body mechanics, the pistol shape makes sense, okay? So that, that's another reason. Now, one more reason, uh, ma major reason, there was probably more, but one more major reason that I could think of is, so the handle dips down like this, okay? So that means also that when I'm holding the knife like this, then the, the blade now, because if it's going this way, right? If you're holding the blade then the handle goes down but if you're holding the blade like this then the i mean if you're holding the handle then the blade goes down right you guys can see that okay so this dip 
where it goes lower than the handle. The blade goes lower than the handle. When I'm slashing, I got like the damage amount that I was doing compared to a straight knife was like three times more just because of the leverage of this already just pointing downwards at this angle. Okay, so that's something you guys don't take my word for it. Test it out yourself. You know, get a straight knife and then get a pistol shaped knife and then compare. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.